Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Raft. All right, so I've got two major things I would like to accomplish today. Number one, I'm going to try sprinklers on crop plots. Uh, I think it's going to work, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so I'm going to test it out today for sure. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to check out that large island because I, I want to find caves for mushrooms. Uh, but what I need more than anything is the stuff underneath, like on the sides and stuff, uh, metal, you know, the things in the water, uh, scrap and everything like that. Uh, but the major thing today is going to be setting up a biofuel storage area. Okay. Now this is my engine. I don't know what you call it. Part of the raft engine room, engine platform. I don't know what you want to call it, but I am going to start storing biofuel behind it. Okay. Now, I was under the impression you could um, hook up pipes to the biofuel refiner, but that is not the case, apparently, which is a bit of a bummer, all right? So, I'm just going to have to put that stuff in manually, all right? No big deal. So, how does this work, then? If I put, like, let's say I have, like, three of these hooked up together. Well, you know what? Why talk about it? Let's just find out. Uh, <laughs> the reason I want to work on this engine area is because I keep having to come out here to repair the damn things, and I'm kind of sick of it. Uh, so... I am going up. Oh, see, stupid, stupid freaking shark. Hate you. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bunch of that and a bunch of that. And I think we're going to metal up this thing. But I need to. That sounds cool, right? It's so metal. Uh, but I need to figure out exactly how big it's going to be. Is that deep enough? That should be plenty deep enough. I'm going to pray it is. Because if it's not, I'm going to be sad. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ugh, nails, of course. Of course I need nails. All right, there we go. Yeah, I need a lot of metal, by the way. All right, so we're going to go... Uh, where's the middle? That's the middle. There, there, and there. It's good enough for now. So let's go ahead and put these things down. Um, can I put stuff behind them, like fencing and stuff? Because I really kind of want to. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter what I put behind it. So let's put a half wall. All right, cool. If I don't like that. Which is supposed... That's the that's the inside anyway. So, it's fine. Okay, that looks good. Alright, and that should be protected. Okay, so then we're going to put down another one right next to it. Alright, and then we're going to put down some pipes to connect them. There we go. Alright, so they just connect to each other, I guess. So, I guess if I put biofuel in one, then it just goes in the other. Alright, cool. Now, how do I want to deal with this? Can I put down a floor... Um, no, I can't. I could probably put down a floor going like this and then around like that, put stuff below it. Could I do that? Do I want to do that? Maybe. Maybe. It's just, but well, I can't put it right there anyway. I'd have to put it over on the sides. Um, do I want to put a temporary one down? Yeah, let's put a temporary one down just to see. We'll put the cheaper ones down. So, oh, you see, I can't put it right there anyway. I'd have to put this in front. Okay. So we're going to chop that. All right, that looks good. So, what am I going to do next? Now, i got to figure out how I want to do this. Do I want to, like, hide the pipes? I mean, I guess I could hide the pipes, but I don't really think I care about it for purposes of this video. So, let's just go ahead and put this in front of it. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we got to grab our stuff and fill that up. We should probably bring a chest out here as well uh, for things that we're going to need to fill that up. So, we will do that also. Uh, let's go ahead. We need for the chest. We need the hinge. I need to get rid of some flowers, make some room. Eh, I have a decent, decent amount of room. All right, so we're going to need honey. We'll bring the biofuel. And I think that's it. Should I bring the... No, nah, I'm not going to bring the generator out there. No. Nah. Well, let's do some biofuel here for the generator then. We'll leave two here for the generator. And do we have what we need for a chest? We need some rope. Okay. By the way, I've got a ton of freaking wood. Just an absolute ton of wood. All right. So let's go ahead, and I, I want to put these uh, biofuels in there and see how they work. Um, because what I could do is I could hook all these up to all the engines, and then the engines will be powered. All right. So there. Okay, so that one's full. So what happens? Can I... All right, so how, what does connecting them do? Do I still have to fill them up individually? Because they should be connected. Shouldn't they be like one big... You know, thing. I guess I have to fill them up individually. All right. All right. Maybe maybe that is the case. So as far as I can tell, you have to fill these up individually. So, eh. What are you going to do? 
Okay, so let's come on out and let's hit this island because I'm already getting low on scrap. I'm going to need just an absolute ton of scrap. All right, what am I going to need? Am I going to need a second bow? I might. We got good arrows if I have to deal with the bird. I think if you kill the bird, I don't know if there's, I don't even know if there's a bird on this island, but just in case there is. Um, if you kill the bird, I believe he goes away for the duration of the island. Probably. Uh, let's go ahead and drop as much off as we can because our inventory is looking pretty effing cluttered because I got a bunch of broke, like half broken stuff uh, that I want to, you know, take care of. So let's come on over here and throw this in there. And I think we're looking pretty good. Let's get rid of the rope. And then we're going to go check out this island. I, I'm not going to look for treasure on the island. It, the big islands, just I, just, I don't have time for it. Uh, at least not for this video. Uh, because I just need other things more. As far as going on the island, I might not even go on the island. Because, like I said, I got to get I gotta get gets to going, you know? So we'll see. We shall see. Where is that freaking shark? Wish I got some more water before I came out here. All right, that's fine. There might actually be puffer fish. Yep, there is. Cool. Yeah, let's get let's get me some puffer fish. No, oh, he's coming for me. No, he's not. He, he got bored. He got bored and turned around. All right, so let's get some oxygen, and then I'm gonna kill me some puffer fish. More so for the heads than anything. I know I can kill him with the spear. I I feel better killing him with the arrows, and I get all the arrows back. So. No fuss, no muss. And you're dead. Beautiful. Uh, you gotta stay away from him. That's right. I almost went up to him a little bit too quickly there. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't blow up if you go up to him like that. But I was told they do, so I'm not gonna take any chances. Alright, let's see what kind of stuff we got down here. Yep, a lot of scrap. See, the problem with these islands is you gotta come so deep for the scrap... Like the the small islands are better, right? Although I don't, you don't get agate on the small islands. But still, yeah, um, I think the small islands are better. The only reason I'm gonna even mess around with this island is because I'm gonna look for some uh, for some caves because I do want to get some mushrooms. Because mushrooms are gonna be important in my food production. Is there anything else down there? Yeah, there is, but it's too deep, you know. It almost feels like it's not worth it. All right, well, let's see what's down there. Yeah, see, there's stuff down over there. But it just takes so long to get here, you know? And there's nothing I can't get on small islands. So, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get a couple more things. And I'm going to stop diving on the island because it's it's too deep. You waste too much time. I could just get this stuff better at small islands, I think. Although, I would like to kill some more puffer fish. But it's just it's hard, man, because like, I've just time constraints. Oh, boy. All right, well, let me see if I can find the, uh, let me see if I can find the cave. All right, I did find a good place to farm here. It's not too low at all. And check it out. There's, uh, some kind of cave system over here. Not, not a cave system, but a little hidey hole. So I'm going to check this out really quick. All right, so we got some loot there. All right, not too bad. By the way, there's been, um, a decent amount of flowers on this island, too. So it has not been a bad island at all. And I've killed a few more puffer fish as well. So, I want to make some of that puffer fish head uh, soup stuff. Because that should be pretty dope. I heard that's really good stuff. Alright, we're on this bad boy again. And I did find the... Uh, I did find the cave. So, we're going to go to the cave right now. I just wanted to go home and sleep before I did the cave. And I'm trying to avoid a boar. But it doesn't look like it's going to work too well. Um, I could probably use my bow to kill him. I just don't really care. Oh boy, here we go. Maybe I could just avoid him and he'll leave me alone. Probably. All right, let's get this thing out. All right. Now, I'm not going to go out of my way to find the treasure, but if I just happen to wander over it, so be it. Just the islands, these big, these big islands are just too big, and, yeah, I can find treasure so much easier on the small ones. Although, this does seem like it's going to it's gonna happen. All right. Nope. That's weird. Oh, God, this freaking boar. All right, dickhead. Oh, boy. Where'd you go? There you are. Ow! Stop goring me! Okay, just gotta... They're easier to dodge than the bears. Shouldn't have too much trouble with it. It just... It takes time. Look at the other. Look at all the arrows. <laughs> Alright, well, you're dead now. 
Because I think there's a treasure in the area I might be able to get. So let's see which way we want to go here. This is looking good. No? Alright, so we're looking good right here. Now let's go this way. No? Go this way. Okay! Well, look at that. We're going to get a treasure. All the, all the crap I was talking about getting treasures on islands not being worth it or too hard to find or whatever. Not that they're too hard to find. It's just, you have to, you have to, like, think about it from a time investment standpoint. You can find these so much easier on the small islands. And honestly, the loot seems to be about the same. Uh, so, anywho. All right, let me find this cave. It's up here, by the way. And I actually found the cave before this part of the recording. Uh, I, I found it, like, off camera. But I wanted to dig up some dirt for more crop plots. And oh, I don't know you get scrap from that too. Probably not worth it though, because you put scrap into the shovel. Do you? No, actually, you don't put any scrap in the shovel. You put metal into it. So yeah, it's a nice little way to get metal too. So, or scrap metal anyway. All right. So let's loot this. And oh wow, I got a scrap hook. That's nice. Metal ingot glass. That's a good, good thing of loot right there, man. Okay, so I think that's the last recipe, by the way. I did look up recipes, and this is the only one I didn't have. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it like ever. Because it takes those like berries, and I think the drumstick jam is probably better. Although I really don't know, I'm just kind of guessing. But Alright, that looks pretty good here. Now I did get a lot of stuff underwater on this island, but like I said, I'd rather find small islands. I got what I needed here. I think we're gonna keep on keeping on. Bye bye, giant island. You are actually very, very helpful. Okay, uh, all right, let's go ahead and lay some more pipes here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hook these up to the engines now. Uh, so let's see how this is going to work. Um, yeah, like that. Straight back through here. All right, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory at this point. I will probably at some point, um, I don't know when, but at some point probably try and hide these pipes as best I can. Okay, so it took it out of that one. Okay, cool. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So that's two hooked up. And let's hook up some more. Okay, so there. Straight through here. Actually, do they need to come through here? Because they can probably all hook up in the back. Yeah, I could probably bring them all back, hook them up back here. Although I don't know if I want to do that. Well, uh, hold on, this guy. I can, I, I can, I know that look in his eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, we could probably have them all hook up in the back. So we could just bring this straight back, and then we don't have to go this way. We could just go this way because we have to go this way anyway. But um, see, I'm not really sure how. I'm not sure if they have to hook up individually. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. All right, there's a lot more pipes. So if I could actually hook them up sideways, maybe that would be better. Because then we'd only have to have one going maybe right up the middle. Yeah. All right, well, that one's like that. So let's move this right here. You know what? Let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. We're going to hook them. We're going to hook them all up side to side and then right up the middle. And see if that works. Now, it's not going to exactly work up the middle because this thing's going to be in the way. But we could have it go to the side. There we go. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take this one out. That disconnects from there. And then we just got to connect like that. Okay. So you're full. Okay, so now the three we have hooked up are full. And this can come out. I'm just trying to... I know I'm probably not doing the math, right? You're probably like, well, Cage, if you do go this way, then you use less pipes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try and use the least amount of pipes as I can. But I'm not going to, like, draw up a diagram of it either. <laughs> Uh, I know a lot of you will, and God bless, but I'm not going to. Um, okay. So pick that up. That up. Thank God you can pick these up like you can. All right. That's looking good. All right. So that hooks up one. One, two, three. And then this one will be hooked up as well, like that. Okay. And then this just needs to get hooked up through here uh, and in the middle we go right yeah actually that would be better to go like that we're gonna have to move this I'm probably gonna go and hide these pipes at some point I just don't know when okay so we still have some fuel left and they, they should all be full so that's cool now we put this right like that and we go see I think if I do this 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work. What we need to do is put down this chest right here and dump things off. Let's go ahead and make sure everything in here is okay. I'm wondering what kind of food would be best for feeding this thing. Obviously, heads are the best. The problem is I don't have any more heads. Uh, not that I don't have any more heads, but they're running out. They're running out quick. All right, guys, this is the stuff I'm going to be using for the food part of the of the bio ref, bio refinery. Oh, I have such a hard time with that. Um, biofuel refiner. There we go. So as far as I know, these heads aren't used for anything. So I will be using those heads right there. There we go. And I will also be using watermelon. There's only a couple recipes you use watermelon in, and I don't think I would ever make them. Uh, because like the things you use other than the watermelon, I would be using in other things. Uh, same thing with the coconuts. And I'm just going to throw a couple things of, um, of beets and potatoes in here just as a backup. And yeah, all right. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and continue using the shark heads for now. Okay, we'll do that. And we're going to need one of these. You know, should I make a second one? I probably should, but the problem is two of them doesn't line up properly. Not that, that really matters, but... Alright, whatever. Let's just throw the shark head in there and another shark head. Alright, put that back. We didn't need that. Alright. I will probably make another one, but I don't know if I'm going to do it right now. So, all my engines should be full now. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, we got... Hold on. We got an island. A small island. Yes, yes, yes. We're kind of by it already, but I think we can... I mean, I could always use the engines if I need to, but I'm going to try not to. All right. Cool. All right, the next thing I want to do is I would like to grab crop plots. So we're going to go ahead and make a few... Um, how many is that? Three? No, we're going to need more than that. I'm talking like at least five, maybe one more. All right, six will be a good starting for this. And I'm going to test out the sprinklers. I'm pretty sure the sprinklers are going to work the way I think they're going to work as long as I keep them powered and everything. Oh, speaking of sprinklers, I need the batteries on my sprinkler for my uh, my llamas is, is down. So uh, we need to leave that there. We'll take all three of these. Let's go check on the llamas. Uh, you know what? Let's do the island thing first. Not do the island, but at least, you know. All right. We need to take that out. And then we need to kind of go buy it. Because I don't want to be too close to it. So the island's right there. I'm definitely going to do that off camera though. Let me show you what I've got going on with the sprinklers here. So if, this is the way I'm thinking about setting this up. Okay. Is this going to work? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, let's find out. <laughs> Alright. So there we go. And then we're going to do... Well, we got to plant stuff. So totally forgot about the planting stuff part. So we'll just take all of these. These look really cool in the window. I might leave them there. Maybe put flowers in the window just for the looks. But it does not it's not really the best way to do things. All right. There we go. And we'll see if these get watered. Oh, look at that. All right. So did the ones... Are the ones in the back out of range? No. Look at that. Okay. Yes. 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 I like that. Let's make another one. I'm curious if the one if if this one will get it as well. I think it will. I think these things go three foundation blocks out. Like they go one on each side and then three out, or one on each side and two out. I don't know. We're gonna find we're gonna find out. Well, I'm gonna find out. You guys probably already know. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, wow. Dude. Alright. They got a lot farther than I thought. Let's make some more crop plots then. I'm just gonna leave it where it is for now. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this. On over here over this and then I'm gonna put a roof over this thing just cause I don't feel like dealing with the stupid birds uh, but for now let's go ahead and make some more of these we'll take that and that I don't know how many more I'm gonna need but whatever is all good okay so we'll put one right there and this pole is gonna get in the way but I'm kind of um, I'm gonna put it right there anyway we'll find out all right, beautiful. Wow, dude, that thing goes far. Wait, why didn't it get this one, though? This one's farther away. Oh, it, it got it. Okay. Wow, this thing's dope. Oh, I love that. Well, I just learned something about cooking. You can actually mess up recipes yourself. 
Um, I, <laughs> I went ahead and tried to make some recipes, and I put them in, like, the wrong, like, numbers. Like, it was said, it said it needed one head. I, uh, it said it needed two heads. I put on one. And it actually lets you craft it. I thought if it wasn't, like, a real recipe, it wouldn't let you craft it, but it does. And I got leftovers because of it, so... That sucks. That really sucks. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to make some of this um, head broth. Because it's supposed to be dope as hell. And I wasted two, I wasted three heads and three things of milk. Which really sucks. Um, I mean, I can get more heads. Not really that big of a deal. But the milk we're going to have to wait for. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Oh, no. Let's just carry. No, that's good. He's ready. He's ready. I did waste the metal. But, you know, what are you going to do? Just, you know, live and learn, right? Pay attention when you're cooking. All right. Grab that. Looking good. Water. Water. I'm going to show you guys something about these crop plots with this sprinkler setup I have going on. Uh, and it's kind of important. So when these things are all ready to be picked, okay, as you're picking them, like what I did was I just picked them. I went pick, 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 pick. And this thing was going off for each time it saw something that needed to be watered. So I would pick like two or three of these crop plots and then the water would go off. I'd pick another two, the water would go off again. Pick another two and you can see where we're going here. It's using more water and way more power from the battery than we need it, than we, than is okay. So if you're going to pick these up, I would pick up the battery first, pick everything, replace the battery. All right, let's go ahead and get some vegetable soup. That's my go-to. Love me some vegetable soup. Okay, so now we're looking okay. We still need some more milk. Not much more we can do there. Um, I will eat leftovers as we go along. And I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to sleep through the night. Let's come on over here really quickly. We have a little bit of daylight left. Let's come over here really quickly and take a look. And biofuel and put that in or hold it. Yeah, put it in. Okay. So now those two are, those two things are almost full. So what does this need? This needs more of this. More honey. There we go. And that should make another biofuel. I think. Is that enough? Yeah, I mean, it's doing stuff. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I can't really tell. Like, it'll look like it's doing stuff, but there's not enough food in there for it. Oh. Yeah, there should be enough food in there for it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring out the battery charging station because it just makes sense. Because we can hook that up. Uh, well, it's not quite empty yet. I kind of wanted it to be empty before I did that. Uh, let's go ahead and charge this one. Because I think if you pick it up, it's going to lose all. It, it's going to lose whatever it's got left in it. All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. All right. And that thing is going to be charging for a bit. All right, so I think we're looking pretty good with this now. I think I think I want another biofuel um, refinery thingy. I just hate the way it's not going to be lined up in the middle. You know, that's going to drive me nuts. But, I mean, I guess I can move one over to the side. Maybe wait until that's empty. Yeah, maybe, maybe I could do that. I could probably do that. Either way, we definitely want to make another one. So let's go ahead and... Battery for refiner. Uh, it's pretty cheap. We need a hinge and a bolt and some plastic. Actually, that's really cheap. Should I just make two more? Is it that cheap? Yeah, it's that cheap. God, the only thing it really takes that I... Like, it takes two metal for a biofuel refiner. That's incredibly cheap. Now that I think about it, yeah, I'll make two more. Although, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them in there because of the way I got the pipes going. Yeah, that's a good question. Let me take a look at that first. Biofuel refiner number three. Number three. Okay, so I went ahead and moved the pipes. I kind of like the pipes going right up the middle, but it just wasn't working enough. Like, it wasn't working properly I because I want to put this thing, like, right in the middle and then have one on each side. It'll be nice and symmetrical. So I moved the pipes around the outside. They should all be hooked up, no problem. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. I'm going to have to move them a little bit once I put down another engine, but that's okay for now. I wanted them away from the side. All right, so in order to put this thing down the way I'm going to want it to, we're going to put a fence on one side, fence on the other, and then that'll line this up really nicely right in the middle. All right, and then you, my friend, can go right there. And then you can go right here. That should be pretty dope. Okay. All right, I'm liking it. 
I'm liking it. It looks all nice and lined up right in the middle. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get these things going. So we're going to need heads, heads, and more heads. Heads go first, right? Pretty sure that's the case. So we got a head in there, head in there, head in there, and two heads in there. Um, oh, are certain heads only worth a certain amount? I thought, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Hope I didn't waste any heads there. I might have, but it's all good. Uh, where'd that happen? Uh, oh, yep, look at that. I do not appreciate that, my friend. There we go. There we go. Got to keep an eye on it. I want to get this thing all metal. See, now that I've got this thing set up properly, I could probably start making the entire thing metal. Yeah. All right. Well, first things first. Let's get one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Got some biofuel. I got another tank down, by the way. So that's looking pretty dope. I do like that. I like it a lot. All these are full. Beautiful. Okay. Um, okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to decide where the edge is going to be, but I think I'm going to do that next video. Everything here should be okay. I, I got to check on it constantly. By next video, I'd like to get like a lot of this done. Metal on the outside. Um, it's pretty much finished at this point. If I do need more engines, I will probably spread it out this way. I guess. Uh, if I need another engine, I'll have to spread it out two spots that way. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm hoping I don't need any more engines. I really don't want to have to tear this stuff up and move it back that way. But, I don't know. How many am I going to have? I'm going to have 12 engines. It should be enough. That should be enough. It all depends. Because, you know, part of the reason I need so many engines is because you guys are watching this series so much. I'm going to keep doing more videos. Right? And the, the raft is just going to get ginormous. Okay, so, like I said, uh, we're going to pick up the battery. And then we're going to pick up all these. All right. Like that. Actually, we should be replanting them as we do it, right? There we go. Beautiful. This is so much better. And then we put the battery back in. All right. Boom. One spot. Otherwise, it would shoot off every time I pick something up. And it would just waste, like, so many resources. It would waste all of the resources. I need to go milk that goat. But I do think I am going to do that off camera. Hopefully next time I play, I will be able to make some head broth. That would be really cool. But I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.